Okay. And then now we're going to make a surf ramp. What you're going to do is we're going to go in the bird's eye view and create a block like so. And all you have to make sure is that it is not too wide because if it's too wide then you're just going to slide right, uh, you're just not going to move at all. And if it's too steep then you're just going to slide right off it. So make it about like this width and this height. Um, hit enter, um, shift A, go to browse and I'm going to change it to a grass texture because I'm crazy like that. Hit apply and this is where it gets interesting. Go in the front view so you're looking at the um, ramp from the side and or from the front hit the vertex tool which is at the bottom on the left and we're going to drag the top left vertex holding on to alt and we're going to move it to the very middle and then holding on to alt you're going to move the other side and make sure they go directly on top of each other you can make sure by zooming in all the way Okay, so as you see, if you bring them together, a window comes up that says Merge Vertices, you're going to hit OK. So this looks pretty good, but it looks like my um, surf ramp is a little too steep. So what I'm going to do is just make it a little bit wider, like so. Okay, so now we've got our surf ramp. And what we can do is we can duplicate it so we've got multiple surf ramps. And then what's nice is you can hit, or you can go in the side view and you can rotate it down, like so. And so now you have a surf ramp that you can jump onto and slide down. Um, okay. I'm going to teach you how to, to do a basic curved surf ramp. And I'm going to try and do it really quickly just because, um, honestly, they're pretty tedious and you just need to know basically how to do them. So just create a basic surf ramp like so. And what you're going to do is just cut out one little triangle like this. And what we're going to do is click on it and rotate it and make it where you want it to be and then you're going to hold on to shift and duplicate it and what you're going to do is hit control M this is going to bring up your rotate scale move menu and you're going to rotate it about 5 degrees with the Y or maybe 10 depending on how steep you want it to move then you're going to move it holding on to the alt button and you're going to move it so the bottom left of it matches perfectly by zooming in with the edge of the previous one. So as you see you're creating like this nice little um, slant or the little curve. So we're going to shift, hold shift again with the new one we just created and hit M, control M again, rotate the Y 10 more. And then we're going to hold on to alt move it over and hold down to alt we're going to make sure it works perfectly with the uh, so it matches perfectly with this previous one now I know what you're saying this is really tedious but what you can do is holding on to control select all of them hold on to shift and then do control M on all three and then make sure you do um, whatever, like I was doing 10 degrees, but since there's three of them, you're going to do 30 degrees. And now we can move it over, and again, we're just going to match it. And just make sure, make sure you're zoomed in all the way, and that it's hitting, the two vertices are hitting each other, because if you do a really shitty job of this, you're going to have really 
ugly ramps that you stop on. So yeah, you have it like that. And then you can create cool, um, yeah, you can create cool curves. And if you want one that does kind of like a, a wave move that goes down and then up, you'd create one and control M, but instead you do negative 10 degrees or whatever you're doing. And then you match the top, um, the top vertice with the other one. Yeah, so there you go. Um, also, what you want to do is create a jail. And what we can do is, I'll just do it quickly, we'll create a box up on the top of the map. Like so. Press enter. I'm going to give it a great texture, just because I like greats. Hit control H to make it hollow. Really, you can do whatever you want. This is where the creativity comes in. Um, that's usually what makes surf mats really interesting, is they have some sort of creative jail. Since I don't have very much time, I'm just going to make a basic jail with a brush on the bottom that I'm going to make into water, so you can drop into it. I'm going to change it with Shift A, water. What's nice is you can hit the only used textures. Um, so then you can, it'll show you the textures you are using. Control T, Funk Water. And what I'll do, just to save time, is I'm going to go down and I'm going to select this guy right here. Hit Control C to copy it. And then I'm going to paste it up here. And I'm going to change the remote, no, I'm going to keep the remote destination to Tele1, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to control C this guy also, and put him there, and I'm going to double click and name this guy Jail, hit apply, close it, and then I'm going to change this, uh, the trigger on the bottom, to go to jail. Hit apply. So now we have our basic map, our basic surf ramp, where you jump down and slide on these ramps, you got a curved ramp, and if you fall in, you're going to go up to the jail. And then something cool can happen up here, but right now you just walk through and it'll teleport you to the beginning of the map, which will send you down. So yeah. This is really basic, I know, but really with creativity and everything, you can make you can use all these techniques to make a very interesting surf map. So enjoy. Oh, and one more thing. If you want people to be stripped of their guns and only have a knife or something along those lines, use the entity game player equipped. And then just put it wherever you want in the map, double click on it, and what you can do is you can go down and say give the following thing like give knife and hit apply and so what will happen is the only thing that they will be given is a knife or you can just put it as no and then therefore they will be given nothing so yeah that's what you do